How to answer an exam standard question in 10 easy steps. Step 10. Well, what I want to look at here are key F5 exam issues. A lot of you have just started ACCA, haven't really thought too much about it. So all I thought I would do is highlight four fundamental issues associated with the sort of thing that you're doing. First of all, multiple topics and techniques. This is a wide-ranging syllabus that has five core topics, and each of those core topics has between four and seven specific techniques, all of which need to be learned. That means that we've got nearly 30 techniques or methods that we've got to understand. And the interesting thing is that what you've got to be able to do is have all of this in your metaphorical tool bag, and you've got to be able to drag out each technique as needed by the examiner. Okay? In simple terms, you must work hard. You must learn these. I've had comments from students who say, oh, doing the course, it's quite easy. And then they come to revision or go to the exam and say, oh, it's not so easy. And the reason is that there's all these techniques and methods, but you've got to be able to pluck out the appropriate technique when needed and apply it to a, an exam standard question. That's not necessarily easy. You have to have a robust understanding of the technique in order to be able to do that. Issue two, computation written mix. Uh, this is more just telling you what the issue is. Uh, what we found with more recent exams is that the computation to written mix has been typically 60-40. Now, there's nothing to say that that will continue. It may become more written, but we have 60% for the comps and 40% for the narrative parts. Um, whatever happens... You cannot pass on the computations alone. That's what a lot of people try to do. Don't even think of it. Make sure you take the discursive sections seriously. You've got to make sure you write answers in full there. Issue three. Time allocation. Uh, there are only two major constraints in an exam. One is knowledge, and I hope you will know something going into the exam. The other way is that you manage your time. Now, I've already suggested back in step two or step three how I would suggest you manage your time. I'm only concerned. You've got 195 minutes in the exam, 50 minutes reading time, 180 minutes for the exam proper. What I need you to do is the nearer you get to the exam, the more you spend time practicing questions within the limited time you have. I don't care if you get a perfect answer if it takes you two hours. You've only got 35 minutes approximately for each exam question that you do. Issue four. Question selection. There are five compulsory questions. So there's no choice here. Fine, you have to do it. But you've got to decide which of these questions you're going to do first and second and third. And the simple way is that you're going to decide it on how many marks you, you can score. Um, a lot of people leap into a question because part A looks nice and then oh, they suddenly realise that they can't do B and C very well. As part of your work in the reading time, when you skim each of the questions and you look at the requirements, I need you to make an assessment not of whether you like the question, but how many marks you could reasonably expect to get from each question. And then it's a case of go for your best question, followed by your second, followed by your third, and so on. That is how to answer an exam standard question in 10 easy steps. I hope you found this useful. The best the very best of luck with your F5 exam. Thank you. Bye now.